Hello everyone, welcome back to Onyx Food Hill. Today I'll be showing you how to make oven roasted chicken tight. If you're looking for a delicious and easy chicken thai recipe, look no further than this oven roasted chicken thai dish. So to make this dish, first preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and proceed to the next step. In a large mixing bowl, combine adobo all-purpose seasoning, onion powder, black pepper, garlic powder, dried oregano, smoked paprika, lemon zest, salt, lemon juice, and extra virgin olive oil. Mix all the seasonings until well combined. Transfer the chicken size to the mixture and toast until well coated. You want to make sure the rich marinade goes into every nook and cranny of the chicken pieces. For this recipe, I'm using at medium sized chicken size but you can use the larger size and then cook them a bit longer cover the bowl with a clean film and marinate the chicken for an hour in the fridge if you're not cooking the chicken immediately you can marinate it overnight in the fridge When you're ready to cook this, grease your roasting pan with some oil or cooking spray. Transfer the marinated chicken thighs to it, making sure they are not overcrowded. Roast the chicken in the preheated oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. You will know the chicken sides are ready when the internal temperature records 165 degrees Fahrenheit on the thickest part of the flesh. And now the chicken sides are cooked already. Can you see all those delicious juices that the chicken pieces are sitting on? You don't want to miss out on this recipe. So you want to make sure you rest the chicken thighs for 5 minutes before serving. If you want to keep them extra juicy, make sure to scoop some of the delicious juice in the pan on the meat. And for a pop of color and extra flavor, garnish your roasted chicken size with fresh parsley. And then serve them with lemon wedges. Just look at how juicy this chicken thai recipe turned out to be. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. If you like it, please give the video a thumbs up and share with your friends. Bye!